Yeah. Hey, it's Jazzy the Lights, and I'm riding with your boy Breeze. <laughs> <laughs> that was better. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I can't fuck with that. It was nope. pop, man. Coolish in the game. Roger Freeze. Jazzy the Lights in the building. Right you can do whatever you want, Jersey girl. <laughs> now, I mean, she made me some some pepper steak and rice. Smacking. <laughs> <It's just> smack. <laughs> I don't even eat it though. That's just crazy. Like, so vegetarian. <coughs> um, I've really just been eating seafood and um, chicken. Vegetarian. So when I do eat beef, it's like right to the toilet I go. All right. <laughs> like, I ain't even gonna hold no I'm problem. trying to get on my seafood grind too for real. Yeah. Yes, yeah. The only thing I can say is, it's. I'm not gonna lie, I say it's easy because sometimes you have those cravings, but when you do give in, mm -hmm. like, your body will tell you, I, I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> give the fuck in. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Oh, you've been cooking all your life, yo? All my life, I had to fight. <laughs> all my life, I had to fight. <laughs> Just about. Like, I started when I was. My mother used to do it as mm. an activity with me when I was younger to help me with my math skills. Where? So mm, when I started reading, like four or five, she would call me in the kitchen, like measure out, you know, this amount, or read the instructions and have everything in place. Mm. So um, that happened, and then when she got sick, like I found that to be my comfort. Okay. So I just, it's I been the deep. love of my life. Yeah, right, shout out to her. Because, nigga. Because <laughs> oh, this, mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. I need I, one of them seafood platters next time. Oh yeah, I just posted it on my Facebook. I gotta recreate that. I gotta recreate that. But they well, shot, you know, shop was right there, and I used to love going to shoppers to get my seafood. Now mm -hmm. I gotta go to Harvest Fair or something. I don't know. Harvest Fair is fine. Harvest Fair is fine, especially for their seafood and yeah. that little meat. Yo, y'all know about Harvest Fair. <laughs> they got these weekly ads, yo. Every Every week, mm -hmm. <laughs> weekly ads. Every week, <laughs> <laughs> you can get like anything, mm -hmm. like chicken packages, seafood packages, ramen noodle packages. I saw one. I saw. Uh, I saw something online where it had like raw meat, like a whole. I don't know. I forgot what it was. I don't want to like stutter, but. Then why you say something? Now? Because it, it popped up <laughs> on my mind. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't want to cuss at a Christian. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, thanks. But... <laughs> That's the only way I can shut you uh, down, man. Right. <laughs> you a Christian, mm -hmm. okay? All right, the falling. Like, you won't cuss me out. All right. Uh, hold on. Wait. You never I have not. I have, I have never cussed you out. Right. Like, like if you never had to set me straight. Um, yeah. cl verbally clean. Verbally clean. I can do it. and I can still cuss you out and not use cuss words, though. I believe. I believe. But where I'm from, I'm used to cuss words. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm used to the curses. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be better in 2020. I really am. Aren't we all? That was delicious. Like that steak and pepper, pepper steak. And it, and it's not like the the hood pepper steak where that the meat damn near artificial. It's like <laughs> chop steak, baby. Yeah, cooked with love. Are you gonna hold this while we? Yeah. I'm check out ride. All right, cool. And she right now. The seats gonna hold it. What you mean? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I reach back there for you though. You can tell me where to go while we while we explore the world. Yeah. I was kind of really not on this side of town, but now you was on this side of town. It's cool. Near this side of town. Oh, so you was on this side of town. Nah, I was getting interviewed by my guy. Okay. Oh yeah, you yeah. did tell me about this, so he was able to push it up, obviously. Yeah, I, I, well, I asked him, and he was like, "Yeah." But, um, <clears throat> We just he we did it in a real smooth way, uh, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just kind of glad to you know for all these for all these cool ways to move and utilize our time. But um, yeah, I got like a full day. I got at the at the you know at the we done. I gotta go pick up these tickets downtown because you know in too deep we having our first sip and paint next February. Tickets twenty five dollars. Next month. Next month. <laughs> right away. Uh, out of way. What? <laughs> like you're at an equal distance to get to 695. So I, I thought I thought you said right. other way. I'm like either way. Sorry. I like making the right. Way. But um, it's the right way. <laughs> but yeah, it's you know first uh, February 2020, a dozen roses, twenty five dollar regular admission VIP tickets get you the sip and pay and the massage. And the massage. 
Thirty five dollars. Yeah, you don't even think about throwing jazzy delights on that. Could have made this work. See, I told you. You know what? Now shout out, shout out to our, our, our first lady of the, of the team, the business team, Charlemagne. I call her Charlemagne. She um she got the food covered. She okay. did. All right, so, right, right, right. You know, you know me. I'm I'm you know I'm I'm the resource dude. So it's like anytime somebody you know I be thinking of my my go tos. And then with that pepper steak, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now Charlemagne, she gonna cover this one. But um. Okay. But yeah, nah, you definitely want some tickets. If you and your homegirls love stripper dudes, you know what I'm saying? Male strippers. I'm not one of them. I'm, I'm not, not a male stripper. I'm, I'm a I'm, I'm one of the businessmen. I'm okay. one of the I appreciate that, but I'm not in the I'm, stripper. <laughs> well, ask your homegirls, you know, we trying I to mean, do these tickets, bro. I don't think they in the male stripper either. But I'll definitely let them know because we looking for something to do, right? right. Yeah. We looking for something to do anyway for Valentine's Day. Because we all single. How your whole car how was the whole crew? Because Single. Listen, I think it's like no, we single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I don't know your friends, but for you particularly, I know you are you a young buzz. I got time. Be, you know, no, you gotta match. You gotta have somebody that matches that. Yeah, absolutely right. Because a lot of us are a lot of us are conditioned to just live. The regular life, go to college and who splash? Go to college. <laughs> a lot of us like, oh, go to school, go to college, get married, 401k. Right, the American dream. The American dream, and we see how that really, you know, that, that, that's still a dice right. roll. You know what I'm saying? So, so entrepreneur lifestyle, it's an exciting lifestyle, but it takes a lot of mental yeah, discipline. Really. It takes a lot of mental discipline, and then when you're in a relationship, you make this right. I told you, it's all right. All right. And then um, when you it's get with somebody, trend. you you don't wanna you don't wanna have to baby them. Like I'm yeah. not your mother was supposed to be a mother to you. Like right. I'm not trying to be. I have a son already, yeah. shout and out he DJ. is shout out the DJ. He is pretty yeah. well ahead. And you let him take no baths by yourself. Right. No, <laughs> like, he he be in the kitchen helping. Mommy, you need this. Like he's watched me in the kitchen enough mm -hmm. to know where I'm about to move next. And if my four year old can get it, I'm not about to deal with um. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a discipline, you know. It's, it is a discipline. That's a thing. That's a good thing about the hustle. But yeah, like you know. But I'm, she you know, soon you'll find your match. You know, we're left in Washington. Yeah. Right. Find a Milford. Oh Lord, Milford. 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 Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but yeah, you came up around this, these, this. You came up in the county era, where, uh, the Randallstown era, the yeah, Woodlawn right, era. Randallstown versus the Woodlawn era, the the, the Milford era. Like, how how was the county out here? Because you, I buy my business. How I had that was exactly how I was in high school. I used to go to class and I would go to lacrosse practice, basketball practice, volley, whatever the practice was. Yeah. And I'm home. Like, I would hang with my core crew and sometimes we would catch like a lit game, but yeah. child, they wanted to shoot people if I, I had time. I got a call on my life. I got a call. Yeah. I they just trying to be like Baltimore. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like, like try and rap like they from the village or like over east or something. <laughs> and then they just live on Alford Road. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> Report. <laughs> like, how, how do you go hard, sir? What struggle did you have to go through? Yeah. Like, were you going to wear the Jordans or the dopes? Like, which, <laughs> like what was that? <laughs> but one thing I did, did learn, and, and, but it's, it's, it is real niggas everywhere. Yeah, it is. That's true. Point. But, there are more niggas trying to be like real niggas. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, make a laugh. I get on 695 yeah. South. 695 Glen Burnie, absolutely. And then you take it 70. 70, yeah. 70 to Frederick. Yep. Uh, so, here's the thing, guys. Let me clear this up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There are also First of all, it's not a little interview. It's I'm sorry, like, not this big interview. We're <laughs> doing big things. I'm sorry. That's just the Baltimore thing. You put Laurel in front of Laurel. Yeah. This little, this little be, call. This we be having to stop that shit. Right. No, this big, this big interview. This is going to blow up. It is. Mark my words. Talk to him. But check this out. I'm not trying to discredit anybody from the county because there are some real niggas that live out here. Absolutely. What I'm saying is, there are also an equal amount of niggas perpetrating the fraud. Absolutely. That ain't had to never struggle for nothing. That ain't want for nothing. Mm -hmm. But they out here trying to live together together. Just mm -hmm. own you. Be you. And be happy with being you. Like, you know, ain't nothing like the actual, like, the, sh the, sh the struggle struggle. And, and me personally, I didn't really have to go. My mother's from the hood. She's from Emerson and all that. But she she was intelligent. So she used her intelligence to figure out the kind of life she wanted to live mm -hmm. and provide. And, like, she just kind of recently told me. I thought my father was just, like, a nigga that just loved drugs all his life. My father used to run bricks from Miami to Atlanta, and he used to 
Jesus be a part of that cocaine man. cowboy thing and you know he just got caught up in what he was and you know ironically i've read rick ross book and he would say like a lot of dudes from that era used to like you know run coke and all that but a lot of them got hooked on that shit because coke was everywhere yeah so I, I get it for real, you know what I mean? So shout out to, shout out to uh, Papa Freeze, I guess. Nah, he don't deserve that title. Shout out to uh, Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Yo, he gonna yeah. see this shit and be like, damn, son. You're right, damn. We had to do me dirty like damn, that. Yeah, hey, how about this? I ain't even gonna speak on my phone. Oh, man. But, <laughs> you did? Yeah. But for real, everything that happens in your life is for a reason. God knows it all. Your beginning, your ending. Yeah. So everything is to build your character. Like, I've learned within the past year to stop looking at stuff like, why me, God? Like, why am I going through this? And I just developed the mentality of, what do you want me to learn from this situation? Now? Mm -hmm. Like, what am I supposed to gain from this? What am I supposed to let go in this situation? Like, I'm, I'm not... That negative Nancy spirit has to go. I'm gonna be positive Molly, okay? <laughs> and that's what I had to learn myself, you know, like sometimes things don't happen to us and yeah, we see it go through other people, so we be like, Wow, like that's what it feel like to be a victim of a situation. Right. And sometimes we explore that. And me, you know, like I, like I said, of okay, Cam, like I'm a, you know, I'm a dude that wear my emotions on my sleeve, so and I proudly do, like I don't wanna be a toxic masculine person. So like I feel. So when things happen, I feel. Yeah. You know, like <laughs> I play for unlimited for nothing. I can really like blow my thing down. Mm -hmm. The only people that call me is my peoples. Mm -hmm. You on occasion. Yeah. Like if you if you have a picture in my in my phone, like that means oh, that's dope, see. Like, that's if you got an emoji by your name or I like or I spend time on your name, like yeah. like my dog, my dog, old dog, like um niggas call him OG, so it's shit, but it's like when you talk to somebody that got an iPhone, it'll give you the option to update to what their shit is in their phone. So right. I took the time to do it. That's how you know I'm used to talking mm, to this nigga. You're absolutely right. Because I'm totally backwards. If you first name, last name in my phone, I rock with you. Mm. If it's just a name and no title attached to it, or I see you when I see you. Yeah, that's how it be. We were so young, we were so you we wanted well me, I wanted to I wanted to always have my phone jumping. I always wanted to be like, yo, like niggas is always hitting my phone. And then when that shit started happening, it felt cool, but it's it's then, not that shit became like non-progressive because it just be a bunch of girls and a bunch of homeboy type shit. But like, I just kinda zeroed in on shit I talk about. But now it's mainly just like my bevel niggas, um, old dog. I don't feel like naming anybody. You, you, you know, you know, we talk you, you know what it is. But, know, but you know. they, they, I talk to probably them the most, mm -hmm. and then my best friend Candace. Like, I probably talk to those three the most. So, like, but yeah. Like, right. If my phone ring, I know who's calling. Like, I can. <laughs> I'm the pretty time sure. And I know who it is. Like, what's up? Man? What's it is. What it is. What it is. What it is. Okay. So, like, what, like, what did you finally decide? Like, all right, Joe. Like, <clears throat> it's time to turn this cooking into an empire. I believe if you're gonna do something, you should do 
something you love, something you don't get tired of doing. And cooking, I can do that all day. My eyes, like that's 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 it. You got a personal favorite dish that you, that you cook? Uh, well, your your personal favorite dish, your mom's favorite thing to eat from you, and your son's favorite thing to eat from you. My son is more chicken than French fries. Oh man, that's it's like no, so, he <laughs> like um, he like salmon. I do fresh oh, salmon man. bowls. Well, he yeah. loves salmon. Um, he loves salmon any kind of way. Salmon. He's okay. my seafood baby. Okay. Um, my mother, Lord, she she pretty much just take you want to take twenty nine, mm -hmm. twenty nine. So, um, she pretty much anything. And I want to say it like that, like she all, <laughs> like, like she's fat, she's fat, like eating everything I could. But, but she um, likes you the variety. And she likes my cooking. She just likes the fact that. I can do a variety of things. Right. Um, me, my favorite thing to cook, my favorite thing is to be in the kitchen, period. I right. like, I can't necessarily give you a favorite thing that I like to cook because I like to try new stuff. Right. I like to be in the kitchen and, and delve into new flavors and put things that really don't go together together. Right. So, like, I. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like. But if, if we're going to go with a crowd favorite, crowd I would favorite. say my mac and cheese.
Which one are you talking about? We used to go somewhere in Carroll County with the, um, the little game store. They had all of the old antique video games. And we were going there and like, turn up. Yeah. It was like a little. In the uh, electronic section. Like, it's Denny's is still over there. But, oh, um, shit. They used to have a, uh, oh, oh, big red truck. You did. Well, yeah. <laughs> get over like that. But, um, yeah, he did have signal. Yeah, they had this little arcade spot in there. My aunt and my mother would just drop me and my cousin off. And they had like the Nintendo 64, oh. the Sega Genesis, the little thing, the little. See, I remember the, the demos. Yeah, I remember that. the demos. Yeah, the the Atari. The yes, yeah. they had all of the old school games. And what they would do is, like, you can go in there and you pay like $20 and so you can have oh. access to all of the games. Oh, I know that. So they be in there like came out shopping it up. We yeah, just over there like doop, 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 doop. I don't care. You what, some what, Sonic, I'm good. What about, um, all right, so on Joppa Road, that came out over there by Joppa Road, right? But it's a Burger King over there. And this Burger King used to have, a, it's used to, they used to actually call it a PlayStation, where they had three different games in, in there. Like as the playroom and shit. Like nobody remembers this shit. And it was the Burger King, and we went in there one time. They had like an N64, a PS1, uh, whatever game was on. I think they had like a Super Nintendo, Get Genesis in there. But that shit, that shit just a regular slide board shit now. But every time I ask someone about that shit, they don't remember that shit. Oh, uh, thank you for kicking knowledge. I definitely <laughs> did not know. <laughs> and I wanted to stop you before you got all the way. Wow. I am. I'm. I'm yeah, I lived in the county. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the east side was kind of uncharted territory for me until I got to college. All of my people stayed over west. Yo, why is it like that though? Like I lived over, I lived over east for a, a part of, part of my life. But me and my mother went everywhere. Oh, like I had family know. over west. Yeah, like we, we ran. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I wasn't with my cousins and my cousins. All of them, like my whole family. Not my whole family, because I have some family on the east side, but my whole immediate family is over west, so. True. But you, you, you're right. A lot, majority, majority of my family do. Like, Sorry, we, we, this place right here, if you ever like doing a cookout with some shit big. Marketplace. Yeah. It's like a baby, um, a baby Cisco. Baby Cisco. Baby Cisco. It's like Cisco and Jetro had a, uh, a midget. <laughs> a midget. <laughs> I think that. Yo, but I never understood that. Though. Like, the I never understood. I feel like this is a city, like one of the greatest cities in the world. Well, I mean, they may not feel like that now, but I don't know. I love Baltimore. No, really, because back in the day, it seemed like going over east was like an adventure. Like, and the only time I know somebody won't laugh at this when they hear, <laughs> especially if you know me. The only time we went over east is if it was church related. Yeah. If we wasn't going to somebody's church, like. That's it. And really, it really, now that I think about it, it really wasn't east. It was still west side because it was like Baltimore Street right before you got to the block. Like, oh, okay, okay, them okay. storefront churches. So, Yo, I just was out here. <laughs> like, not today, but like twice a couple of days. Okay. Uh, I think I went to the Six Flags and I took this way. I'm definitely coming to the gas station now. Oh, yeah. yeah. You see that? Do you see Can't, that? Did I make the right key straight? Oh, okay. oh straight. Oh, look, this is my second time going here. <laughs> and I, I, I came out here for something. It's Yale. Yale means stop. And we got the right of way. Oh! 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 Oh, you're going to have to turn around now. Turn around now. Head southwest on US 1 South. Shut up. Will you tell people where I work? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some whole other shit. Cause I can't, I can't come out this way. Where you? Hello, where you? Where you job from? Right there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I ain't know that. All right, let me. All right, let me fix it. No, I'm making sure you be at the place, in the front of the place. I appreciate it. Go grab that 225 gas like it's nobody's business. I know. You cash it? Yeah. Cash at Rise or Freeze for, for you and everybody. You know what I mean? If you want to donate or you know you want me to get some oil or whatever, 
Cash at Rise or Freeze, you know, it's all spelled properly. Did they? Yeah, it was at Freeze and two Z's. Or... <laughs> <laughs> One Z. All right. All right. R-I-B-E-Z or X. <laughs> <laughs> one Z, not a one Z, you dig? No, really, it's a Z. Yeah. I'm glad you said something because I was about to ask it up. Rods. No. You said it's like it's a listen. With free stuff. Rods. With free. So I'm going by Weber's dictionary. R I D E S. Webster's? Whatever. You said Weber. <laughs> I mean, if you messed up with Rods, I got the right to say Weber. I ain't messed up with Rods. Did I? Yeah, you put a Z on it. Oh, okay. No, nah, that's just my tongue. You know, I got, you know. Nah, I got the brrr. I got the brrr. <laughs> that tongue, brrr. Oh, so wrong song. Sorry, I'm a Christian. Oh, I don't listen yeah, to Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You I know? didn't listen. He's like one of my. He's still. Eight? Yeah, he's still oh, like course. my favorite artist. Even though, you know, he wants to. Go DJ. That's my DJ. Even though he wants some very eclectic stuff right now. That's still my nigga. What do you mean eclectic? He is. Have you seen him? What do you mean? What do I mean eclectic? Shit, I just, I, I just like, I look at a nigga that's just working too hard. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's work or Molly. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yo, my niggas gonna be so mad when they see this shit. Oh, sorry. No, my, no, my guys love Wayne. I love Wayne. No, for real, I really do. He's like literally like my top five, like number yeah. one for real. Oh no, they gonna love you now. For real, like. But I, I feel like um, no, nah, I feel like if you love an artist or something, you should crit criticize him. I could talk about him. You should, you should definitely criticize him. Attack me. Rare? Not bad, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to that boy? What happened to that boy? You know what no, mean? really, what happened to? Hey, yo, did you see that clip? What clip? Yo, right here by on stage, yo. Yeah, I like that street. <laughs> I was like, ah! You said that shit. Bye, bye. Nah, you gotta, you gotta pull that shit up and send it to you. I'm in denial. I'm going to send it. Yo, he said it on the mic. I yeah, forgot who he was doing a concert with. And it's like, literally, you can see the stage you like this. <laughs> like, that nigga his own. Like, we don't like that. That shit He keep looking at me. Yeah, yo, yo, right there in a the white tee. I might like, in a oh, white wow. tee. Yeah, no. in my white tee. I bring it. Yeah, I must have been on airplane mode because I ain't see that shit. I'm telling you. Sidebar. Spot. Saturday, Jazzy Delights is going to uh, host themed dinners. Mm. It's going to be outdoor events every. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. It's going to be a ticket. It's Ticketed, ticketed event. <laughs> I started to freeze. Sorry. It's gonna be a ticketed event. Uh -huh. We're gonna host it. It's gonna be in the county. Um, it's gonna be a, a intimate event, so no more than um, you know. Like, oh, my God. oh shit! <laughs> I'm so oh, fucking no stupid. Way. Damn, yo. That's All okay. right. It's a just rise and freeze. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, and there's no like little cut, cut, is it? I thought it was a cut. I really thought it was a cut. No, just keep straight because straight is stores and stuff. All right. All right. Oh, shut up. Illegally. And you know the boys. These ain't no regular boys out here. They the boys' boys. They know, We're going to go to Howard County. <laughs> I can't. Shit, I walked the yard. It was pot saying, no, you stop. No. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Uh, they going to try to kill me like they killed Drake. Mm -hmm. I'm volunteering myself for kitchen duty immediately. <laughs> and I'm taking a night with you. We gotta worry about it. <laughs> say no to drugs, bitch. Day. Always say no to drugs. But um, long story short, we are gonna host the um, theme dinner party every month starting in May 2020. It's gonna be a ticketed event. I don't want to <coughs> bring no more than 50, 60 people because I still want you to be out, you know, be able to reach out That's and get right. information. Uh -huh. right. Reach out and get information if you need it and whatnot. Um, so, yeah. Technically a visual podcast. Okay. So I'm gonna we're gonna be, be doing visual podcast as well. Oh, she That's gonna be yes. I ain't playing no games, I'm coming. I'm coming. I owe this for my to myself. I'm coming for every day in twenty twenty, you feel me? And I'm not stopping. If you got a problem with me now, I'm telling you. But long story short, we're gonna do visual podcast for um, you know, single moms and moms in general. Oh shit, that's what's up. Um one pan meals so you can because people really think cooking is really hard but it's 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 not that hard like when you get to the technical stuff yeah it's hard but yeah. if you're feeding you and your family it's fairly easy and i'm going to show you a couple of crock pot like cast iron pot meals where you can throw literally everything in put it on one bowl when you get back home you're feeding your family you feel me 
So that's coming. Look out. That's what it is. I'm proud of him. Get the hair. Okay. We out here shaking and moving. Oh, 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 what's that? Shit. Oh, yo, he's thinking, yo, somebody that's tried to throw your out the other day. And that look like the police. Right, this is the, those are definitely on the feds. Like them niggas that be driving the mayor. Niggas that be driving us around in 10 years. Right. But not driving like that, though. No. <laughs> I'm tired at this point. I'm going to go out on Route 1. And I'm going to drive. <laughs> You almost <laughs> <laughs> give me all you got. You almost like ran him over into the wow. This right wow. here. Yeah. That's good to know though. You know, for when I do come out here, there's no like once you exit only, you not exit. I break I so many rules. Bad. You be like, oh my Uber's dumb. That's all you gotta tell them. <laughs> <laughs> you got your business. Mind your business, blue thing. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my god. You pulled up on location. You dig? Shout out to Jazzy Delights, Jazz and Williams. Yes. Right, we're freeze. You feel me? Game to the thing.